Good morning, one and all. Oops, I forgot to tweet. There, I have officially tweeted. Now, all of the internet knows that I'm live. Good morning, one and all, to day 12 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Got a great show for you today. We have finally arrived at St. Denis. Uh, which is something I've been looking forward to. It's taken us 12 weeks to get here. But we finally arrived, and now we can explore, really, the only industrialized city in all of um, this, this particular area. <clears throat> Let me get the chat going here. There we are. Live on Mixer, YouTube, Periscope, slash Twitter, and uh, something else, I think, as well. And it is set to public. Great. Uh, anyway, uh, we had a wonderful time last night. We played Alien Isolation here on the channel. And, uh, you know, I didn't die quite as many times as I had died the previous stream. I think the previous stream, I had died around 21 times. And uh, yesterday, I think I only died 15, maybe something like that. Um, but we've got new tools at our disposal. We finally got the flamethrower. Which I've been making uh, pretty good use of to scare away the xenomorph. And uh, almost ran out of flamer fuel, flamethrower fuel. Uh, all in one episode. Got the flamethrower and almost exha exhausted the fuel supply all in one episode. Um, and I feel like we've been trying to activate one elevator for a good portion of the stream. <laughs> we just keep dying. But uh, we did make progress and I'm having a great time with that game. I'm pretty confident that I won't die quite so many times in Red Dead Redemption 2 today. Though I'll probably die a bit. So just a heads up, I'm probably going to die a little bit. Nick Barnhouse says, good morning, Ox. Got your coffee. Hope you're feeling better today. I've definitely got my coffee. Cheers, ladies and gents. Good to see the members in the chat today. We've got 200 Angel, Gemma, Weird Beard, Slatty Bart Fast, Brett Bus, Kathy Robbins, Jamie Armstrong, Vladimir, Don uh, uh, Vandenbergen, Kathy Robbins. It's so good to see so many people supporting the program for a repeated period of time. Hunter, no name. Chininator, good to have the mods in the chat today. All right, without further ado, let's hop into the world. Now, I think I logged out. Um... I think I logged out uh, just after having arrived in St. Denis. Uh, we need to track down the location of young Jack. Remember, the Braithwaites sold Jack to what? Like a, a slaver or something? Working out of St. Denis? So we've got to track down this weird slaver. And apparently we need to go to some of the bars in town. The saloons in town are our um, likeliest... Uh, are, are the best place for us to find out where young Jack had been sold. Now, that said, we got time. Yeah. It's not like a child's life is in danger or anything. We got time. <laughs> oh, and it put, me, it put me all the way over here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Brad Bus says, first things first, go to the tailor in St. Denis and get yourself a city slicker outfit. <laughs> uh, do I have to uh, fit in with the city slickers? There's a stranger in the streets. Interesting. Where am I? Oh, I'm by a lake. There's a stranger marked on the map here. I wonder what that is all about. Well, should we go talk to the stranger? I don't know if I want to dress up like a city slicker, to be perfectly honest. 
Where's my horse? Come on, horse. Okay, let's go find this stranger. That looked interesting. Remember to do the side, the side missions in St. Denis outside the market. Okay, Jim Pickens, I will be sure to do so. What was that? I've been covered in worse, friend. Ugh. Ugh. Just had to be me. Is that it? He just wanted to complain about getting covered in mud? Why are you doing this? Vamos, would you move, please? That's it? That was the entire encounter? All right. Yes. They do this every time. Let women vote. It's time to let women vote. Rockland says happy dealing with the mob day. Also, San Denis serial killer clues are well hidden. Maybe the chat can help if you're interested. Thank you, Rockland. Morelli Miwi says, sorry I'm late. I was just watching the sixth episode of Picard. <clears throat> from yesterday. Well, I hope it's been going all right. Excuse me, Pardon. sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Oh, dear. What's this about? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute. I promise. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of... $20 would put us well on our way. Which veterans, though? That's the thing. Which, which veterans? There are <laughs> many on hard times. Many children without fathers. I mean, children. Yeah, all right. Fine. Why can't I do it? It's You'd be right doing out. a wonderful thing that would impact many lives. I only have two options, do uh, but I can't donate it. Did I lose my money? No, I've got money. I got a lot of money. How do you put a weapon away? Maybe I had to be off my horse. Yep, I had to be off the horse. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Cool, okay. Oh, you guys all had this figured out. I had to get off the horse to donate the money. Evening, friend. Boy. So that's all that event was about. Well, uh, it just so happens that it appears that I have ridden close to the tailor. So to make you all happy, let's go see what the summer fashions look like in Saint Denis. I swear, every time I play this game, you guys are more interested. Our veterans and their families. Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. I had a big point. Slow the hell down. Dot what up here on my map for a minute. What, are we now in, in a windstorm? Wow, the weather changed quick. Jay McKibe says, Hey Ox, are you going to check out the Wastelanders preview panel? Uh, preview panel? It's 
first I've heard of it. Is it at a convention somewhere? Wow, it's really windy. Oh, I passed it. It's down this alleyway. Good morning and beware of pickpockets, says Jamie Armstrong. Okay, will do. Look at this wind. Looks like I'm getting close to one of the quest destinations as well. That's one of the saloons. Game days today at 2 p.m. Eastern, says Jay McCon. Oh, uh, no, no, I won't be covering it. Buenas tardes. Latest shipments is long overdue. The investors are starting to work. There we go. CD mm -hmm. Corse Taylor, clothiers, gents, and ladies. Mind you Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please. Ooh. No. Oh, you bastard. That man just robbed you. I saw it. Get after him. Never thought I'd see fly. What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. This man's crazy. My God. You cheat. All right. All right. Damn it. You got me. Oh. Here, it won't happen again, okay? Just a bit of cash, that's it! Damn fool. All right, well, we got our money back. Yeah. <laughs> One of five bandits. So oh, great, is this gonna happen all the time? <laughs> Good gracious. He bumped into the wrong cowboy. All right, where were we? Uh, Taylor. Browse no, catalog. Just look in here. Outfits. Hmm. The Saint Denis. The Corson. The Bretag the Bretagne. You know, it would be good better could I if I could see you what I would look like. That one on. There we go. The Corson. Okay. The Saint Denis. The, the Oh wow. That is a top hat. That's a tall top hat. And then the Bretagne. The Brit Britagne. <clears throat> okay. If you have any questions, you just let me know. They're not bad, but look at those boots. Wow, those are some. Those are some fancy boots, and the entire thing is dyed a shade of purple. This one, that top hat is just way too much. This one's okay. I mean, the vest is a little flashy, but everything else is fairly understated. And I don't know. I kind of like this one the best, though. Gives it has a, a London town vibe to it. <laughs> um, oh, let's take a look man, at some of the bits and pieces. If I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, "Haven't I met you somewhere else?" Okay, so Trilby, Panama. These are many of the same hats we've already seen, although I don't remember two different kinds of flat caps. There's the worn one. Just going for four bucks and the regular flat cap. Uh, and no greater selection of derbies or bowlers. We've got just the regular bowler hat. A new hat can change the high your crown life. bowler hat and, and the roll derby. And will change it for the better. Um, duster coat, classic tail coat. Let's see if. Um, no. Let's see 
It'll keep you if there are any other coats, back. any new coats. Let's go to all coats. Classic tail coat. That's new. I don't remember that. A frock coat. Scout jacket. Worsted coat. That's new too. Wow, so we really do have a whole new selection of... Um, of clothing items Please in Saint Denis. at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. Shotgun and Rambler. That's a cool looking coat. Though the big brassy buttons there. I don't know. That's a bit much. 15. That's not bad. 15 bucks. That's not too bad. Hmm. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Tony B says, hey Ox, how have you been? Loving the Far Harbor videos. Thank you, my friend. I've been doing very well. Far Harbor has been coming along great. We're getting close to the end, though. Let's see. We've got a different selection of shirts. So this is the everyday the over shirt. For a comfortable and everyday shirt. Fit. Colored over shirt. Everyday over shirt. I like that gray. That blue is a bit flashy. Stand collar over shirt. And then the union shirt. Now, I really like the color, uh, this one right here. Do I have this? Six bucks. Oh, and we can change fabrics and colors. I take pride oh, in well, my Oh, maybe I shouldn't here. go by color. Everything here is of exceptional quality. Ah! Doggone it! Let's go back to all shirts. Okay, so, ignoring color and style, what shape of the shirt do I like best? Um... Well, really, there are two shapes. Except this one. This looks like underwear. There's the button-down shirt, which is this. I then there's this one that has a uh, my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never a weird, be like, pilgrim thing going on in the middle. Okay, the buttons are a little bit different. So there's a button all the way down shirt, which is the everyday shirt, and the French dress shirt. And then there's the uh, everyday over shirt, and the collar shirt, which don't go all the way down. I still like this one. We have style. Now let's for choose a color. Whoa, that's but fancy. I'm sure you look good in anything you choose. Oh, that's a bit much. Blue or gray? Let's go gray. You'll be getting All a right, I got myself an everyday over shirt. Sex like it. That. Now. I don't want vests. Let's go to pants. Ooh, like a window so, broadcloth or think? something. Wearing Cuffed town pants. <laughs> Just Chris with a tip. Thank you very much. Just Chris. I kind of like these actually. The cuffed town pants. The town pants. So what's the difference between the town pants and the cuffed town pants? Fancy pants. Whoa, saddle jeans. I don't remember the saddle jeans, and those are green. Regular jeans, saddle pants. Let me know what I can pants, do to help you leave here feeling pants, good and looking saddle, great. Paddle, saddle, work pants. Paddle, saddle, work pants. We've got one style there. No. Uh, paddle, saddle, work pants. Only one style. Work pants. Lots of styles for the work pants. Okay, I see these are just sorts work walking jeans. Walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better. When Saddle you work out. pants. Wow, those are fancy schmancy. Jeans, regular jeans. I think I have a pair of those. I don't have saddle jeans. 
But they come in greener. Oh, yuck. Oh, that's awful. People say us tailors oh, all sound the same, <laughs> but I find that rather I mean, it's offensive. a little low for, for the horror that I'm imagining. I mean, clearly that's what? Dried sweat from the horse or the saddle? Maybe it's the, uh, the leather dye from the saddle wearing off on the jeans. Oh, that's just... <laughs> Ew. Oh, let's not do that. No. I don't want anything with a crease down the front. Let's try... I stand behind everything I sell in this place pants. so you can purchase with confidence. Too fancy. That's brown. Uh, that's not too bad. Roman says, hey, Oxhorn. Do you know that a new Half-Life game is coming in March? And it's in VR. I guess you should stream it. And it's going to be insanely popular. Yeah. I guess I should dig out my, my, streaming, my streaming rig. Um... I yeah, Alex, I'm, I am looking forward shop. to it. It looks like Buy it's going to be me, good. And you'll never be disappointed. All right, so here we got some red jeans that kind of match the color of my derby. Though I do want to make it go back to brown. Oh, here we go. Some nice brown jeans, and they're clean. This is what I want, just everyday pants. Thank you very much. Nice. Uh, now that we've finished with pants, um, let's go to... Okay, let's get some boots. Let's get ourselves a new set of boots here. Um, man, I'm feeling so fancy in the big city. First thing I do is go shopping. My, my, I really think it's perfect Okay, we've got you. riding boots. Slicked riding boots. Tornado boots. Wow, those are exciting. Sportsman's boots. Hmm. Button low shoes. No, preacher's shoes. <laughs> Why are they called preacher's shoes? Wingtip gaiters. Preacher's pride boots. Uh, workman boots. I stand I like those. behind everything quick draw I boots. sell in this place yeah, so you can purchase Deluxe quick draw boots. Plated quick draw boots. Relentless boots. Man, these boots are relentless. Old West boots. Now that's a good looking boot. It's got some Old West flair. It's not too fancy. Then we got grinder boots. Whoa, those are bejazzled. Is that the right word? Please, They're bedazzled with fejazzles? Is that what you're supposed to say? Items. Something about glittery. Cavalry boots. Classic preacher's boots, English preacher's boots. They've got like three different types of preacher boots in the Old West. Classic roper boots, hunting fowler boots. Okay. That's nice and plain. I do like that. Hunting fowler boots. I only stock the best in my <clears throat> shop. Deluxe Buy relentless me, boots. And you'll never be disappointed. And then we get back here. Okay. So, which ones did I like? Those are a bit too fancy. I mean, actually, they look really comfortable, though. Have you ever tried the game Graveyard Keeper? No, I've never tried that, Tony B. Is it on, um, is it on Steam? I stand behind everything. I like the look I of these. They look really place, comfy, so but I'd be afraid to wear them. Because I'd be terrified of ruining them. The leather doesn't look thick enough. That's the thing. The leather looks really soft and supple. It looks like a dressy boot. Let's find something. Okay, these are kind of nice, but they're really bold. That's a that's a bold statement. Uh, <laughs> ah, it's too fancy. It's almost like it's got columns on it. There we go. The workman boots. I like those. And I like. I only stock the best in I my shop. I like the shop. old west boots. Buy from me, and you'll never and be I like, disappointed. I like these English preacher boots. Do look pretty good. And then these, these actually look like waders. Hunting fowler boots. Don't think I like the waders. Okay, let's try. Let's see if. No, these are just a bit too much. Let's try here. Let's see what kind of um, colors these come in. Oh, and they are vibrant. These are some vibrant colors. We have styles for all. Morel Mewe says, "Just I'm made sure some chunky chicken noodle soup to eat choose. while watching you play Red Dead 2. 
Well, I hope it's delicious. It sounds like something you'd, you'd eat on a cold, windy, rainy day. So my problem is the color contrast. Some of these are just way too bright. Let's try... I did like the Old West boot. To choose from? I get that a lot. It's that dramatic V. That V is just way too dramatic for me. Oh, is the cat in here? Doggone it. That cat snuck in here again. Um, a hunting fowler boots. I'd be worried about sand and grit falling down into my boot. Look at the space at the I top stand there. It's behind just a lot of space. I sell in this okay, place, let's go so check you can out. With confidence. Tell you what, let's see exactly what the styles come in with the Old West boot. So brown, blue, and gray. Eh. Oops. <clears throat> I think I, I think I like the workman boot. The workman's boot. Yeah, let's pick a style. Something. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Yeah, I like this one. Nothing too contrast. Yeah, that's a bit right there. Just a tiny pop of wine colored brown. A slight bit of fanciness there. Or I could go there. That's that's definitely understood. Uh, <laughs> I only stock the best Oh, let's in my go. Shop. Buy from me. No, I just can't do it. It's too bright. Let's do this one. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Mechanic J JJ says, Ox, consider all situations. Before bu uh, buying boots, I think I've been doing good. You know, I, I, I didn't want boots that were too thin. They wouldn't hold up in the mud. I didn't want boots that had a big gap at the top. You'd get sand and rocks down there. I'm considering my situations here. <laughs> accessories. What have you got for accessories? If you have any questions, you just Rifleman gloves. Riding gloves. Cavalry gloves. Oh, oh, we can choose suspender type. Well, I don't believe I've done that sure yet. Until you try it on. This guy just needs to shut up. He's taking way, he's just talking a lot. All right, so these are the gloves. Um, let's what take a look at all gloves. To Rifleman, you. riding, cavalry. Um, I like the fact that the fingertips are out. Oh, there's the cat. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, oh, but they all end up looking better oh. when they walk out. Come here. I'm gonna go I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with Okay, confidence. what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was saying that I like the fact that these have, uh, have fingers exposed, which I think will allow him to be a bit dexterous when it comes to quick draw. Let's see, a dark brown, light brown. I like that brown. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that. Excluding yours truly, of course. Of course. All right, so if we've got gloves, let's try a puff tie. Your shirt does not support this type of neckwear. Okay. Let's try suspenders. There we go. Let's choose a type of suspenders. That is a local favorite. Cotton suspenders. Leather suspenders. Now that is flash. Fine leather suspenders. I'm currently 
Do I currently have that? And then the crossback suspenders. Why is that checked? Is that what I currently have? Okay, crossback leather cotton. I Let's see what kind of colors the in leather. In my shop. These are Buy from these me, are shiny. and you'll never be disappointed. What's a crossback? Oh, it's uh it is a woven it's a woven suspender. Leather is heavy. And he's already wearing a bandolier. Let me know what I can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. Cotton is lighter. Comes in all these different styles. See, it's just the glossiness of this leather that's bothering me. I mean, that looks nice. Now, now the cross, this one confuses me. Wait, no. Fine. Is that what I already have? Please peruse yeah. at your leisure. So I could just I carry change color. Only the finest I'll tell you what, items. let's go back with let's go to with crossback suspenders. And let's go with that color. I feel almost human. Josh says, Ox, so mean to the true star of the show. The cat just wanted to say hi to us. Yeah, he wanted attention. He it probably meant that he wanted to go eat from his bowl or use the bathroom. And the last thing I want him to do is go in here where there's no litter box. Um and then Tony B says, it's on Steam. It's like Stardew Valley, kind of. Interesting. Well, it may be something I should take a look at later. All right. Now, I do need a new coat. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Chaps, multi-tone half chaps. Holy cow, there's just so much you can buy. Did people really wear this much stuff? Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. These are all the chaps. Or the chaps. Multi-tone half chaps. Or the tanned half chaps. It's just too much. It's too much. I'm getting overwhelmed. I can't, do, I can't deal with the chaps. Spurs. Now, a good cowboy's got to have spurs, right? Let's People take a look at all of the different spurs we've got. Oh, those. 10 different kinds of spurs. There's a Gurdon spur, a Gurdon rider spur, the Gurdon deluxe spur, the Kneller spur, the Kneller rider spur, the Stinger spur, the Stinger deluxe, the Western rider, the Western deluxe, the Vaquero, and that's it. Okay, too fancy. Nice, but I just only stock the best in my shop. The leather's a bit Buy too fancy. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. So I guess, um, man, I, I don't want to buy for the spur. I want to buy for the leather. Yeah, that's a little less. Gurdon. So Gurdon spur is what I need. If I want spurs at all. Too much. Eh. We have styles for all persuasions, all right, but I'm sure spurs. you look good in anything you Oh, and choose. I can change the color. A bit of blue in there. That one's nice. I like that one. No, it does have yellow I in there. I don't know if I like the yellow. Everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Oh, that's nice. Let's do that. Now that will bring your outfit together. This guy talking is just driving me insane. Okay, let's go back to the index because I think I need a coat. Accessories, boots, pants, vests. I don't want vests. Well, let's take a look at vests. Yeah, I don't want vests. Shirts, coats. I've already got my hat. <coughs> Pardon me. I only and stock the best in my shop. Buy from me and you'll never be disappointed. Let's take a look at the different kinds of coats again. Go back to all coats. The duster coat. 
My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. Classic tailcoat, no. Classic frock coat, smooth. Scout jacket, I mean, that is very Arthur Morgan. But that looks like it's a warm outfit, and here we are wandering around St. Denis. I don't think we need that. The worsted coat, now I like that. It almost looks like a pea coat. Shotgun coat, I also really like that, except for the gold buttons. And then the Rambler jacket, now that's too fancy. I like I this stand worsted behind coat. everything I sell in this place, oh. so you can purchase with confidence. Too fancy. He's cleaning out camp funds on shopping, says Hank Moodkiller. Yeah, but not nearly as bad as Dutch Vanderlyn. Have you seen his outfit? Goodness gracious, everything's made of silk. That guy. I only so the problem the with the worsted coat shop. is none of these colors Buy are dark me, enough. These are all really light colors. Even this dark black has got a bunch of uh, light gray and red stripes going down it. I just wanted a nice, dark, peacoat looking coat. So I don't know if I want that. Hold on. Ah. Back to a different kind of coat. There's the duster, classic duster. I stand behind everything I sell in this place so you can purchase with confidence. I've got a shotgun cloak already. Yeah, it was part of an outfit that I, um... Well, then I don't want another one. Let's try... If you Rambler, have any questions, uh, you just let me know. Scout. There are quite a few options of Scout. Classic frock. That's not bad. A classic frock. Again, all these br bright, vibrant colors. I get all sorts walking into duster. this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. Hmm. Ah, I guess I, th none of them are really resonating with me, ladies and gents. Oh, I like the one I've got. I have plenty more great items. Yeah. That's great. I like the one I've got. Well, I should probably eat something, huh? Kidney beans. Yeah, let's get some food in there. I'm sure he won't mind me tossing it on the ground. <clears throat> Wait, the color of my hat is wrong, isn't it? Can I change well, the color of my hat? To try out your wardrobe in the changing room. Is that what this is, a changing room? Nope, that goes out back. Is this a changing room? Nope, that's a oh, wardrobe. Can I change the uh, color of my hat? Yeah, this is the one I want. That color, not the red one. Okay, feeling like a bit scruffy, but a bit You'll gentry find as well. You'll everything you need to look your best right here in this catalog. Thanks, Mister. Hey, be careful. Oh, wow, and the storm has passed. Now. So we've been to the tailor. We recently did the barber. What's this? A photo studio? What do you do at a photo studio? A trapper, a fence in town, gunsmith, general store, butcher. 
A show and a bounty poster. We could start taking care of some St. Denis bounties. <clears throat> Josh says, Ox, I was expecting you to turn around and it'd be like Zootopia when they left the DMV and it'd be dark out. Um, let's, uh, let's go to the photo studio and see exactly what this is all about. It can produce personal portraits made to measure using your choice of backdrop and poses. What? Oh, I got to check this out. Everyone looks so refined. I'm told the savages are giving businesses a terrible time. Morning to you. Oh. No name says, what don't you do with a photo studio? I don't know. What don't you do with a photo studio? What do you do with a photo studio? Sorry, everybody. I've got a horse here. Hey, My bad. I know, civilized society. What do you think you're doing? Yep, yep, right. I, I instantly regret this. I realize now that this was not wise. Sorry. What? What? No! 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 Oh, why are they doing this to me? I'm just trying to walk in my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh, what? I can't... No, no! Oh, what have I done? Five dollar bounty for stepping on someone's toes in St. Denis. Gosh, dang it all. I was just trying to get to the photo studio. It's gonna end up costing me five bucks. Or more if I die. Look at these guys chasing me. They're chasing and shooting at me because I stepped on someone's toes in St. Denis. My poor horse. No, that's why am I getting off? That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go, boy. You idiot. Don't drive on the sidewalk, says no name. I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. No more driving on the sidewalk for me. Well, now I've got a $5 bounty. Guess I better go pay that off. Where am I? Hey, move! I don't even know where I'm at now. Well, great. Where do I go to pay off a bounty in uh, St. Denis? Uh, down here, I guess. Post office. Well, first things first, let's go pay off the bounty. <laughs> I wonder if they'll just let me walk right through town to do that. Tony J says, I closed my browser for technical reasons right when Oxhorn hit that first pedestrian, and I knew I would come back to him riding out of town hunted. Well, live and learn, I guess. Don't walk too close to pedestrians.
<clears throat> Man, I really got far out of town. All right, St. Denis. Can I sneak to the post office without getting killed? I know that something's going on down here. Uh oh, there's a bad guy coming for me over here. Uh oh, lawman. So part of that random encounter is a lawman. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to the post office. Oh, they're all over the place! Mister. Trying to avoid them. Oh, they're on that side of the street, too. Ooh, that was a bad road to try and walk down to avoid the law. Yeah, maybe if I wasn't wanted, I would take a pamphlet. I'm not a hater, I'm a racist! And I want you to be the same! Oh, I'm gonna miss a really interesting encounter. Help me, help me, please. Oh, but there's a cop right there! News you wouldn't want to miss. Right here. Alright. Gotta path my bounty, then I'll come read his pamphlets. Clean slate. There we go. Just to be honest, it was all a big misunderstanding. Melina Richards says thanks for introducing me to Metro last uh, last time, Ox. Loving it so far, but parts are expletive frustrating. It can be pretty frustrating, but it's a really fun game. Really well made. Thank you. Really. Come on now, boy. All right, let's see if we can find that random encounter again. If it hasn't passed us by. And we'll try not to step on someone's toes this time. You want to ride? I can take you wherever you need to go. Yeah, it was over here on the street corner, wasn't it? Come, please, take a pamphlet and learn how you can save the white race. Wow. I want you to ask yourself, do I consider myself pure? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Eugenics for beginners. Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature, nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you... Is he talking? I need you to be pure. Because his mouth isn't moving. Who's talking to me? Hello, sir. You, sir, do you want Hello. a pamphlet? Ah, uh, sure. 
Okay. Read it. Really interesting stuff. I explain, using real science, why we whites are under attack, and what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die, sir. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian. I've known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. <laughs> you, sir, are a real fool. How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Someone help me! Okay. Oh, oh, should I not have done that? No, please don't. Get back here! You called me a fool. Now I was—I had nothing to do with that. That was all Arthur Morgan. How dare he! Oh, did I kill him? The eugenic supporter, I killed him! Whoops. Well, we'll just leave him on the railroad tracks for now. I just wanted to give him a beating he would remember. That's not so bad. But kill him? It's, just, it's an accident. Alright, how do I put my weapons away? I gotta figure this out. <clears throat> Settings. Uh, controls, keyboard and mouse, key mapping, uh, on foot, on horse, combat, toggle weapon sight, Holster, unholster weapon. Tab. Tap it. Oh. Loot the eugenics guy. If I loot the guy, I'm going to get in trouble. Like, everyone's going to start running after me. All right, fine. I'll loot the eugenics guy. Every time I loot a corpse, it's just... There we go. Oh, is he already gone? Yeah, he's already gone. Wow, corpses fade fast in this world. They fade really fast. All right. Well, I didn't want. I was. I was afraid to loot him because you know when you when you loot a corpse, you lose honor depending on how the person died. Bonjour. Now, uh, I want, I'm still trying to get to that photo booth. Uh, uh, and I still need to do these three, but that's the primary quest. Let's go check out the photo studio, see what that is. Then let's go check out some bounties over here. We can do bounties for the law. Melina Richards says, Ox, that was eugenics in action. You removed the stupid from the town of St. Denis with that killings law. Well, the problem is that it, uh, if that's true, then we're basically saying that there's something with eugenics. In which case, the guy was right. Ah. I'm so sorry. Okay. Bella, whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I think we're okay. Did you anger anyone? That's his horse. Where's my horse? My horse is down here. My horse ran. You okay, Inky? Um, that's right. Um, in America, you ride on the right side of the road. I'm getting it now. Ah, uh, oh, 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 here we go. Uh, the very, oh, 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 right side of the road. Oh, I love it. <laughs> wait, 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 what's this? Theater? Fontana Theater. Magic Lantern shows. Ooh, that sounds exciting. David says, driving on the wrong... <laughs> Drive it on the wrong side of the street, you ought, you ought to be in trouble with the law. Hello, welcome. Hello, can I take a show? Take it for one, please. The show will be behind in any of the doors beside the booth. Are you ready to go to the theater? Ooh, it's one of those moving pictures. Welcome one and all to the remarkable example of modern entertainment at its finest. Now most of you youngins I'm sure know about our great national hero and pioneer, Josiah Blackwater. Him that gave the town of Blackwater its nomenclature. You see, only about a hundred years ago, were nothing here but big old force, ferocious beasts. This is the same the movie that they were playing in Valentine. Unconquered mountains. The West, well, the whole West was untamed. Your mama probably. <clears throat> Brad Buzz says we need a blooper Josiah's reel. Adventures. But I'm going to uh, tell I you think a story. That would be hours of entertainment, my friend. I'll take the opportunity to light up a cigar. Blackwater was born in the year of our Lord, 1782, in a log cabin just west of Ansburg. He was a special boy. His pa gave him his first rifle when he was three years old. Boy, he took to it right away. He exclaimed, There's a whole mess of critters out there in the woods that aim to eat us. So I'm going to consume them first. Yes, sir. He really took to killing all manner of things. He was such a keen shot. Ooh, One right in the morning, butt. He was sorting up some winter turnips for the root cellar when a big old bear and her cubs came in the kitchen hunting for food. It had a mind to eat up all the jams and preserves. Josiah grabbed that bear and wrestled her to the ground and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. He whooped the tar clean out of that big old critter. Then he tied her up and grabbed them cubs and ground them into sausages while the mama bear watched. <laughs> that fine eating. His mom and pa knew right then he was cut out to be the finest wild frontiersman that ever drew breath. But first, they wanted him to get some book learning. After only three days of attending school, Josiah beat Look, the he's got a mustache. daylights out of a class bully and announced to his <clears> daddy <throat> that he was tired of ciphering and mathematics on account it's only good for adding up the number of critters or Indians you can kill. So, he ran away from home and headed west. Now these lands were occupied by savages then. He burned down his and house and killed his parents. Great. Came scouting through, what a national he hero. It to be a land of splendor. Wasted on those that couldn't appreciate it on account of worship and false idols. He got rid of all them pesky buffalo. And thereby ensured those infernal engines didn't have nothing to eat. Of course, that got them mightily riled up. So he had to slaughter all of them too. Ah. Just like his daddy had once done to the Redcoats in 1775. Right about that time, he met an Indian girl he took pity on, on account of having annihilated her family. She was 12 years old, ah. and so he took her as his wife. She gave him two sons before she died of typhus. Now, y'all know that Josiah Blackwater wore a possum for a hat. But most don't know how that came to be. Well, one day, old Josiah was riding a couple of alligators down the Lanahatchee River. Riding, standing up, and shooting eagles. Killing right bald eagles! <laughs> when he sees a big old mountain lion about to eat a possum, Josiah grabbed that mountain lion by the tail and wrestled it till it was plumb dead. Well, that possum really took to Josiah. Followed him around like a dog loyal to his master. Yes, it's a Disney movie. They had a lot of adventures together. It's a Disney now, movie. Now, Josiah never cried a day in his life, but he pert near dead on the day that possum passed. For they were mighty fine friends. So he skinned it 
and made it into a hat. Back in them days, a possum skin was as good as money. But he never parted with that hat. Not even for ten dollars. Once he founded the town of Blackwater, he sent word for settlers to come. It was the last stop in the west before San Francisco. He met a girl by the name of Rufina Hellsby at a barn dance one night. Took her as his wife and settled down. Built himself a cattle empire and had 14 youngins. But Josiah Blackwater wasn't the home-loving kind, and he grew mighty restless. One day on the courthouse steps, he announced, You may all go to hell, and I will go to Saint Denis. And so he did. Enjoyed French pursuits of strumpets and wanton gluttony, which is where he came upon the idea of running for Congress. <laughs> he wore that possum hat every day as a congressman, as a reminder of where he come from saying, I may live in barbaric splendor, but I always remember, keep your friends close and your gun closer, because you don't know when you might have to shoot them. Okay, I was wrong. I totally thought we had seen that one before, but no, that was, uh, that was new. Very unique. Detrillion says, when the credits roll, Ox, don't stop. There's more story after the credits. Please don't forget. Also, keep up the good work. Go, Ox sets. There's no credits, though. No credits. I think it ended. We'll see you next time. Hello. Time to go, boy. He's off. Sit us. Delirant, boy. All right, so while that was going on, I missed a few comments here. Uh, B Gem says for a good show, hit up the vaudeville theater in St. Denis. Each show is different. Worth the money vaudeville theater. I'll keep my eyes open. Akina Tana says ox famous gunslinger quest on a boat in St. Denis. All right. Sounds good. Okay, it's it's nighttime. Wow, the day and night cycle is fast in Saint Denis. Let's get to the photo shop just to see what that is. I've been trying to figure out what that is for a better part of 30 minutes now. 45 minutes now. And then we can do some bounties and other things in Saint Denis before we move on to the main quest. Did someone say alms for the blind? Me, Is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Mm. Oh, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. All right. So that's it. Okay. Please. Right side of the road. Right side of the road. Don't want to plow into a horse again. That what? Well, I just did that. I guess he just stays there and keeps begging. I'm terrified to to gallop. Let's trot. Make him prove it. Point a gun at the blind. He's not blind. He's lying. Oh. What in hell? Nah, I should have pointed a gun at him. That would have been interesting. The lion. The Le Leon de Ur. Restaurant. So I can get a nice meal there.
Well, let's do that. Everyone says I need fattening up anyway. Oh, is it close? Hello, mister. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, sir. I can't go into the Golden Lion. Oh, looks tasty. Wait, here's another door. Nope. All right. Hey, boy. Hey there. Look out. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll find that blind beggar again, in which case we'll test his claim to see if it's accurate. Darkened Alley. Portraits. Seems like a shady, shady sort of spot. Alright, let's let's learn more about this newfangled portraiture. What's it called? A daguerreotype? I'm closing now. Two something or go. Request a portrait. Oh cool. Can I get my portrait taken, please, friend? <laughs> oh, this is so fun. All right. Change background. Oh, and it manually changes. Man, the attention to detail. Oh, yes. The Congo. The setting of all great portraits. So we've got the jungle. A mansion. Everyone will think you went to ancient Greece for this photograph. What fun. Grecian ruins in Africa. Been. Okay. With a volcano in the background. Wow. That is a backdrop. <clears throat> What's this the supposed to be? Fine. Not too busy for a background. It's a house on fire. He's still with the, the, the backdrop of, of a house and trees on fire. Well, that's... That's more accurate for Arthur Morgan. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. And we can change expression. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I don't think I like that one. Arr, angry. Hey, oh. They are yeah. all fun. All right. So it's, we've got a few expressions we can cycle through. Let's do that one. Change pose. Yes. Ooh. Now, pose for me. Something. <laughs> Having tea with a fire raging in the back. <laughs> okay. Arthur Morgan having fun in the big city. Now, what's that? He's got a health tonic in his hand. Cigarette. Give me a cigar. Give me a cigar. Give no, he's crossing his arms. He's a grumpy Gus. That's it. Oh, no, they don't give me a cigar. Yes. Well, then we're doing tea. For me. Let's change Something the expression. Comfortable. Now that we're doing tea. <laughs> That's a good one. Um... View photos? Here, let's take that photograph. Five bucks. Hope it ain't as bad as I fear. View photos. Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. So, I see. So, it's, it's basically like the camera. Only, I'm paying five bucks. All right, well, that was fun. I'll stay open for you. My after hour session can be a little more intimate. Ew. Did he say intimate? Yeah, I think I better get out while I can. Let's 
Oh. All right, so we got ourselves a picture taken. I like it. Now, <clears throat> new outfit, picture taken. What we really need is a nice big meal, right? So that we can make sure Arthur Morgan is feeling healthy. But that restaurant was closed. So it looks like most of these establishments are closed right now because it's in the middle of the night. Sheriff's office is likely open. And next to it is a show, which is open right now. Let's go to see the show. <clears throat> to the theater. So, What's your honor, Ox? Um, I don't know. How do I check my it honor? The last time, neither. Hey, partner. Control, alt, escape. I don't know. Shift. Whoop! Nope, that's not it. Yeah. Wow, they've even got street lights. That is fancy. Ew. Your money, mister. Now. Tell me I can cut through here. I won't forget this. I ain't moving. Yeah. No, nope. no, you stay down. That's right. You okay, buddy? Yeah, he's okay. He said he won't forget it. Mr. Now, what was I doing? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm on my way to the sheriff's Boom. office. No, I'm on my way to the theater. Well, I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. Still not enough to eat? Thought I heard someone in trouble. Okay, this is complicated. Which side of the street? Uh, right side. Right, 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 right. Okay, this way. Look out. Ooh, wow. Look at those lights. Is that the theater? That's the theater. Or is that the one I went to already? No, this is a new one. This is Vaudeville. All right. Let's see if they've got a show for me. Monsieur? Monsieur? Hitch the horse. You can rest now, boy. Ooh. Hello. Still have a few seats left. In the mood? Sure, let's take a show. Two bucks, not bad. Take it, please. Head straight through those double doors. Can do. Main entrance. Ooh, can I get some popcorn? No? Okay, so what do you got for us today? Hello! Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. 
Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men Garvey. have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, Go I have away. procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring Ooh. this entertainment to even the <laughs> poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held this without a profit. Best. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a 10-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. Yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. He is really? truly a wonder to behold. Presenting you stink. Benjamin Lazarus. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to my incredible display of dark arts and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> Go a man on. cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught petting my wife. <laughs> I joke. Give us a refund. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker, and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none Do are better. as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant. Oh no! At considerable distance across the stage. Shoot. Can we get him killed? Will Point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger. Oh, Using no. lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient, I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Sure, here we go. All right, Off I'm going to time it. Careful. I paid I could money do without for this. a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Sweet Jesus. <sighs> 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 that always scares me. <laughs> you deserve now, it for that. Observe Good. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. You got no talent. Yeah. What is he doing? <laughs> Arthur Morgan. This is worse than watching paint dry. Oh. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Phonies. Let's do that again. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Arthur's not buying it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch this of dang balderdash. Ah. <laughs> A skeptic, hmm? I'm trying ah. to watch the show. 
and Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. Ah! These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward oh, no, with their here we own go. firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Do I lose the weapon if I offer Is mine? no one man enough? Oh! <laughs> Come on! Someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I was just I about to do it. You are a good shot, sir. But, okay. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? Take aim. Oh, the fight is too much. And fire. You're not just down. Is he okay? Oh, plant! How did he do that? Believe that was a plant. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all nonsense. It's just an illusion, after all. Oh, that's it? You missed your chance, says Ethan. Okay, I thought there was going to be a dialogue option. I was holding right click to see if there was like a dialogue option where I could say, yes, I will do it. Yes. But yes. no, I had to stand up. Truly a feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> Worst now. show I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Uh oh. Yes, Am I going to get demonetized for this? And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette what? San Servino. <laughs> she emits fire from every orifice of her body. Oh God. Set your backside on fire. Arthur, calm down. <laughs> he can't get over the word orifices. Yeah. Get her off the stage. Fire! <laughs> Arthur's so mean. Arthur Morgan wants her to die. That's not nice. Go cook someone some supper. Ooh, Arthur, misogynist. <clears throat> That's rough. Make up your mind, Arthur. Uh -oh. Bring it! Here we go. Big fireball. Ah. Whoa! Woo, I love it! <laughs> 
No Name says Arthur is jealous that he's not as good looking. He must be. Because he wants her to like die with fire. Enough of this crazy fire lady. <laughs> You belong in the kitchen. What is with all the misogyny, Arthur? I felt like he was like the last person to be like that. Oh, no! All of the heckling finally got to her. She spewed fire onto the guy's head. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, goodness, my goodness! <laughs> that man's hat was alight! <laughs> Antoinette Sansorvino, she's really uh, something, isn't she, huh? Uh, she's certainly singed the better elements of my manliness. <laughs> oh, thank you. Jeez. I discovered this next Get woman off. in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss! Robin Koninsky. All right, what's Robin Koninsky going to do? <laughs> Melina Richard says Waldorf, Statler, and Arthur. Awesome trio. Arthur Hello. is just Thanks for joining feeling us his today. oats today. This here was a new song about a so called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis. And they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace. Jim and says you were the ones pre Except the one pressing the button to the antagonize her ox. Oh, was that me? Because someone is Yes, but I can't control the words that Arthur saying, chooses to use. Hello. Hello. This man is terrible. I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talked to him across the telephone. Get out of here. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. I'm tired Every of this morning you will hear me yell. He sent you fix me up along the line. They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And Women this shouldn't is what be doing I say this. They be mine. <laughs> Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. We need another hour. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me. Then you'll be left alone. No, baby, telephone. What is she going on about? Arthur's just confused. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with This is total trash. Exactly where he's I don't know why it's as funny as it is. Now it's just imagining Arthur Morgan sitting in the audience just going, Rubbish! This is awful! Get off the stage! Get off the stage! <laughs> just wait! And it will separate me from my baby uh, mine! Love it. This lady is crazy. When and my game is lost. <laughs> and so we say I shout along the line. Hello, my baby. Oh, Hello, me. my honey. Hello, my rap time girl. Send me a kiss by wife. Ah, modern Maybe music is on. <laughs> he hates modern music. If you refuse me, honey. Jim Pickens says press R to say good things. Oh, that's an option? Okay.
<laughs> Arthur's getting his money's worth from the ticket just by being a jerk in the audience. <laughs> no Name says bouncers oh, should have booted oh, you by now. What a fine tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me Come for tonight's on. entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery Seriously? of this mortal coil. Good night. That's Dream it. Well, and come back soon. Nobody cares. Oh, I could do this the entire stream. Just go to Vaudeville Axe and heckle, <laughs> heckle the people on stage. Oh, that was great. <laughs> uh, I wonder if anyone... I'm, I'm sad I missed my opportunity to, to try shooting at the first guy. I'll try that again next time. Oh, that was nice. Nice entertainment. All right, well, I think I could get Ooh. used to the city. Just, We've got uh, Axe and by the theater. all sorts of stuff to do. Good morning. No matter what, ha what I'm doing, I come out here and this horse is pooping. Watch out! Okay, uh, what, what, what else was I going to do? Okay, well, it's daytime now, so the shops are open, but let's go get a bounty. How about that? Go backstage, says Hank. Can I talk to them? I wonder if they'll say anything because I heckled them. All right, let me try it. Well, I don't think there's anything else I can help you with. Oh, the show's over. I'll have to do it next time. Next time I'll try going backstage. Police station. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. I wonder if this job gets easier the farther away you are from Sunday. You got that right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Okay. One hundred dollar reward, Lindsay Wolford. <clears throat> Captured, dead or alive. Okay, finally, one where I can kill him. As the leader of the Lemoyne Raiders, he is wanted for raising a militia against the state. Un-American activities, murder, and adultery. He was his the gang was spotted in the most in the Mossy Flats region. All reward claims to be filed and will be paid out in full by uh, B. Lambert St. Denis Police Police Department. So the leader of the Lemoyne Ra Ra uh, Raiders, we can wipe him out with this? You going after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lemoyne Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of all of us. Don't tell him I said that. Okay. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. 
And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoin Raiders. If the bounty's for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all that remains is to bring him in. Remember, they forfeited their right to life as well as liberty. Ooh, we got quite a task. Okay. May the virtue is Hey, careful there. Excuse me. I bet the other one. Alright, let's go find this uh, Lemoyne Raider Lindsay. Now. Uh, where does this put us? Uh, bounty hunting. Ooh. Due north in a rather undiscovered location. Uh, part of town, that is. <clears throat> So I was halfway there when I fled town earlier. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can find a restaurant, catch a meal. Barber, doctor, gunsmith, newspaper seller, trapper, fence. Oh, that's right. All of the restaurants are going to be the saloons that I need to go to for the main quest. All right. Let's just let's go take care of the bounty. Then we'll come back. And then do one of the saloons. Gonna take an hour to do the bounty. Oh, I better start now then. Hey. Almost I was dead. How's it all going? Run bounties over with your horse, Ox. Check the basement, says Jamie. Good things at the bounty destination. Glad to hear it. day on that one huh hey you deaf mister and it don't you follow me pervert <laughs> what what are the kids throwing bottles at me and then I get off my horse he calls me a pervert well that's effective I don't want to be associated with that let's get out of here <laughs> what? Oh, and we're stomping on someone's potted plant. Okay, we got quite a journey ahead of us.
I love that he'll just do things that I'm not in control of at all. Just shouting at people on the side of the road. Don't forget to brush and feed your horse, says Muffin Chops. Don't worry. I gave him some oat cakes earlier after the collision, and I also brushed him down. But you're right, I will make sure to pay attention to that. <laughs> Nicholas Cross says, heckling honest performers, harassing children, running down yeah. pedestrians. I'm not sure Arthur's cut out for life in the big city. Everyone kept saying I need to start cooking up real meat here, so there we go. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Cinematic mode says random dude. Random dude. Yeah, but if I do that, I'm going to miss out on random encounters. All right. I got a good bear, a deer pelt. Let's stow that. White-tailed deer. Prisoner in hand. Keep back from the wagon. Hey! Please! Get me out of this damn cage! <laughs> He's a bad man, but I was no part of it! You think you're the first woman to use that line? Please! Just don't take me in! Shut it later. Oh, wait. What's... Go. Hold on a second here. Oh, I'm close to the bounty. Oh, and there's a there's a legendary deer up here. Well, let's do the bounty first. Can I have more than one deer corpse on my uh, horse? Oh, they've got a fort. Holy cow. All right, what do I want? I've got my carbine repeater. Let's switch that to um, Springfield rifle. Now I've got that bolt action. Oh, the rolling block rifle. Oh, I don't like the scope though. Though that might come in handy. Now yeah, let's let's switch that to the uh Springfield No, bolt action. First, you didn't help the prisoner, and that's not a legendary animal, says 420 Gaming. Uh, well, you may be right about the legendary animal. That deer was just a map marker for hunting. Legendary will have a crown icon. Oh, I see. I see. Just a map marker for hunting. Uh, the prisoner, um, I'm hesitant to just run down a police wagon with the prisoner in the back. Now, who's this coming from uh, the fort? Hello. Do I got a help wanted sign on? Move along. Okay, so he's right up here. Thank you. 
Wait, it looks abandoned though. Let me do a hard save. Oh, and of course I can't save. <clears throat> Machine gun over there. Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Let's make a stand, boys. We need a. The cranker! <laughs> That's it! Oh, the staircase is broken, of course. Okay, now that's it, right? Cool. Well, let's loot the place. I'm sure we'll walk away with a lot. Chewing tobacco. Here, let me get in first person mode. It's going to be easier to loot. Chewing tobacco. I've got that. Maxim gun. Oh, that's the Maxim gun. Gotcha. <clears throat> now... Linz, Lindsay Wolford. I wonder if I would have gotten a different reward had I got him alive instead of dead. Pick up the Warren Carbine repeater. Let's loot this guy. Do I need to put him on my on my horse as evidence? QT says, Oxhorn, unique hat down ladder in northeastern corner. Knife two. Thank you. Yes, I do need to bring him down to <clears throat> the uh, jail. So let's put him on my horse. Which is, oh, all these corpses are going to despawn. All right, let me drop him. And loot the corpses first. Durag says you can hear what he has to say if I capture him in instead of killing him. That would be really hard. I'd have to kill all of his thugs while sparing his life. And he's the guy on the big machine. The machine gun. Revolver cartridges. I'm stocked up on those. And then I'd have to lasso him to bring him back to the uh, jail.
Hey, cigarette card. All right. Hello, we got a hole in the ground here. What's that? Looks like a trench knife. Civil War knife. Pick up. Sweet. Compendium updated. Civil War knife. Let's see what that is. <clears throat> An old Bowie knife with a solid blade, worn wooden handle, and a large D-shaped hand guard for protection. This weapon was commonly used by Civil War soldiers and is covered in rust. It was found in a storage room beneath the ruined Fort Brennan, Brennan in Roanoke Bridge, New Hanover. Take the revolver cartridges, don't mind if I do. Now you said a unique cat as well? And I'm, I'm maxed out on express cartridges. And I can't open, yes I can. I'm maxed out. Oh! Civil War hardy hat. Cool. We got a treasure chest. Let's take the gold nugget. And I think I'm close to a fence up here, so I might as well... Ooh, is that a letter? Civil War report. Inspect the document. What have we got here? Uh, May 8th, 1863, Confederate soldiers under General Quincy Harris attacked Fort Brennan at night, climbed trees to fire down into the fort, then battered and broke through the northern gate, all survivors being executed and bodies burned. I am next, First Lieutenant Ronald Alger. So it was a Union fort attacked and raided by the Confederacy. Can I get some of this booze? Aged pirate rum. Fine brandy. And what's that there? Can I get that? I guess I can't. And those must be empty. So that's it for the little hole. Now, how do I get back up? Ladder. Random dude says, Ox, please read. You don't need a skinned animal. Okay. Thank you. Well, then I'll just get rid of my skinned animal then. Got a tipped over lantern. Set up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't, already learned my lesson there. Loot, loot, loot. Chewing tobacco. Pistol cartridges. And now I'm stuck. <gasps> Can't get that, whatever that is.
All right, we have a number of bodies on the wall. Let's try and get those, and then we can get on out of here. Outhouse, anything in the corner? No, I don't think so. All right, up we go to the wall. Ah, oh, dang it. Cigars out. Random dude says, Zox, when will you do the main quest? I don't know. <clears throat> when it feels right. When I just get the main quest sort of feeling. Uh, probably after I finish this. <clears throat> um, this was the only bounty in town. And I didn't see any other side quests in town or on my map. So I'll probably uh, start doing the main quest after this. There's one more. Ah, yes. This guy. And then there's one X over there. Oh, hello. Guard shack. Ooh. Down we go. All right, there's one more body. Is it in the shack I came from already? I got that one. It's in that corner, but it must be on the roof. Yeah, there's a there's an entire other shack over here. Okay. Up we get. Oh, and they do connect. Look at that. Whoa. Right, I think that's it. Let's pick up our bounty. Where'd he go? There he is. So I can stow him on top, but it knocks off the deer. All right. Come on, pal. Where's my bowler hat? This hat is cool, but I miss my bowler. There he is. Looking, looking great. Way to go, Arthur. You look amazing. Now, I can get rid of the waypoint. Don't need it anymore. And if this does not denote a legendary creature, which you're right about because that's just, um, that doesn't have a crown. Then I need to find a fence to sell my gold nugget and turn this quest in. Now there is a fence over here somewhere at Emerald Station, but there's also a fence in St. Denis, isn't there? Yeah, but it's closed right now. All right, well, let's just go back to the to the police station and then go to go to the fence. Yeah. 
Now, wait, before I'm, just now. in case I run into some Lemoyne Raiders on the way, let's refill our cores. Uh, items, let's see, what refills my dead eye core? Brandy and other booze. Chocolate bar, ever so slightly. Let's see if we can do some stamina. There we go. Find Brandy. You see that coat? That's Lindsay Wofford's. We're gonna take that body, mister. It's worth too much. Give up. I knew it was going to happen. I was in the middle of getting prepared. Golly. And they come up right behind me. Ah, uh, such bad timing. I'm in the middle of taking my restorative stuff. Ah. And I was right here. They, they put his corpse up here? What? I'm back before I looted everything. Oh my gosh, I have to loot everything again. It's interesting that they just randomly generated all the bodies. None of them are where I left them. But uh, they're all still here and dead. Uh, does that mean I have to go down and... No, 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 no. Wait. Oh. Oh, I would have missed this. I guess it's good that I died. <laughs> Nicholas says not going to say that I told you so, but... Look, don't, just don't even. Premium cigarettes. Looks like I got a smoke to be able to pick them up. Cigarettes, 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 cigarettes. There you go. And I get another card. Cool. All right, down we get. No. Okay, any more bodies? Yeah, a couple on the ground here. Okay. I guess I got to go check to see if, yep, I have to get this card again. Hey, notice how they've got match sticks pointing towards the corner here. Look at that. Oh, the Bowie knife's gone. What about the hat? And the hat is gone too. Okay, so I don't have to loot those again. What about the containers? I do have to loot these again. Get my gold nugget.
Now, wasn't there a note somewhere in this chest? Yeah, I guess, uh... I guess I got, I got to keep that already. The game already recorded that I saw the note. Don't have to loot it again. But all of the other stuff, I do have to get. Give me that fine brandy. I'm going to need that to restore my dead eye core. Actually, since I died, I need to bolster everything. Okay. Back up. I looted all the bodies. Now it's just the tables and everything around here. Take the pistol cartridges. And there's a satchel here. Can I open this satchel? Nope. Chewing tobacco's in the way. <laughs> More pistol cartridges. Nope. Oh, hey. Nope. Can't get that. All right. Where's the body? Up there. Oh, I can go up even further. Nothing up here for the trouble. Ah. Nope, that's not what I was doing. What is it with raiders and their piles of human bones? Okay, before I get on this horse, let's restore my cores. I'll focus on my cores. Now can I save? Nope. Let's get my right, my right gun out. Bolt action rifle. Okay.
that coat? That's Lindsay Woffers. We're... Make that body... It's a piece of you, Mr. Wofford. Now, oh, let's get you back. Shimming at crickets. Knocked me off my horse. I'm falling in dead eye. My poor horse. Roland says, Ox, it's best to save your bounties till the end. Uh, why is that? Okay, I killed these two real close, and there was one more, wasn't there? Over here. Just Chris says, you see Arthur Papa's wrist back in? Tough guy. I didn't see that. <laughs> Did he do that? All right, let's take care of our horse here. Uh, horse's stamina. Here, let's um, give him an oat cake. You okay, boy? And let's brush him down a bit. Good boy. Now what about me? My dead eye core is a little bit drained, but not that bad. You need a better horse, Oxhorn. Try the Turkoman from St. Denis. Okay. Can I buy it at the stables? Easy. You know, my brother's a bounty hunter. Hell of a life. Damn, heat rashes kill him. Get out! That's right. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know if they wanted to start something or not. Red Bus says, no, don't replace Inky. I know we've used him for so long that I've kind of grown accustomed to him. Uh, what does this guy want? Hopefully that's the last of them. On the opposite side of the road that was overly dramatic guy <laughs> I'm galloping by on the opposite side of the road and he goes Ugh. calm down 
I'm not gonna run you over. Put your gun away, it makes people nervous. All right, thank you. Hey, holding up. This here ain't none of my concern. It's the body draped over the horse that's bugging everybody out. Sweet Christ! <laughs> Heavens above! All right, I'm in ta town now. I probably shouldn't gallop. Let's trot. Right. Don't worry, everybody. I'm working for the local constabulary. You have a problem? Dude, just calm down. I just killed the leader of the Lemoyne Raiders. That's right, everybody. Don't mess. Oh, is the theater going again? Are we gonna go see another show? Heavens above. Good gravy. Lord and biscuits. Salva me Dios. All right, where you want him? I believe this body's worth something. Well, now. So much for them boys being the tear of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. You got it. Pleasure doing business. Crowsmar says you can find a white Arabic horse up in the northwest of Lake Isabella. Long travel, but it's one of the best. What if I'm if I'm up in that way? Just let me know, and I'll uh, I'll see if I can snag him. Bring out your dead. Oh, there's a bullet hole at the top of my hat. Look at that. Damn stupid if you think you can come back here. I make good on my promises. Here's your payment. All that for a hundred bucks. Looks right. All right, what color did I get there? I, I was doing so well. Oh, gold. That's it. Okay. Capture him dead or alive. Done and done. Looks like the theater's going. No, no, no. It's not. It's closed. All right. Let's go to the fence and I can sell my gold. Oh, but it's already, um, it's the middle of the night. Is there a hotel around here? Wait, there's another theater. Look at that. With a show going on. Let's see if we can catch it. Okay, sir. My luck, by the time I get there, it'll be morning. Why are you doing this? Was this necessary? Was this necessary? Friend. 
See how the map is trying to get me to walk on the wrong side of the road? That's why I'm getting all mixed up here. Hello, sir. Oh, there's the theater. Oh. No, I meant to hitch the horse. Alright, uh, Magic Lantern Shows. Hello, for a show, I presume? Sonny, take it, please. You'll find the show in either of the doors beside me. It's the picture show, Ox. Oh. Is it the same picture or a different one? If it's the same one, I'll walk out. or as we call it, man, man flight. flight. Soaring through the heavens in flying machines so that even gravity itself can be mastered. An amazing and bewildering spectacle. But I assure you, everything I am about to share with you is true. Now, we are all familiar with the potential cruelty... No name says be nice at this show. The actors work very hard. ...or locomotive. You are like to be beset upon by the infinite savagery of wicked men or bloodthirsty beasts that lurk in the bogs and plains of these tormented lands. But what if I told you for a certainty that man will soon be traveling across the heavens with wings like a bird? I am sure you think I am full of untruth. But I have not drank a pint of liquor in over a year, and I will do my utmost to demonstrate the veracity of my claims. In over a For year. For a hundred years, steamboats have engaged in passage along our great rivers. But a man by the name of Cecil H. Peck is in the process of inventing a steamboat for the sky. The only limitation on its speed at which the porter can shovel on more coal. But parts of the country where coal is scarce, oars can be used in the skies to hasten your <laughs> voyage and keep Oars? the passengers active while they travel. Near Pittsburgh, there lives a telegraph man named Aldous Kinnear, who each evening after supper retires to his barn and dons the wings of a giant creature and <laughs> takes to the heavens. I like how they have to have the beat. To know. He has traveled considerable distances, as many as 45 miraculous feet. Unfortunately, on his record-breaking flight, he knocked over a lamp and was consumed by flames. A tiny detail. His two boys, Percival and Charles, have promised to continue their dear pa's legacy of sky flight. A whole heap of men are fashioning contraptions to take us to the heavens. A flying machine powered by a trusty donkey. Once you arrive at your destination, you can mount the saddle and ride away. With wow. this incredible contraption, one can enjoy some popcorn and have the best view in the house at the next flogging or lynching. Stagecoach robberies will soon be a relic of the past when we enlist our animal friends as couriers well out of range of man's shooting irons. But the most remarkable thing I have to reveal to you comes from a northern man called Moss John Nichols. Imagine travel without ever getting into a saddle. No doubt you have heard accounts or seen in person the majesty of flight. Exotic land, just south, you know, Mr. exotic. Nichols has perfected the sky cannon. Oh Passengers my simply walk God. up the steps, relax into the barrel, and are transported with great flourish to the destination of their choice. The Sky the Cannon. The infirmed who have been ravaged by scarlet <laughs> fever or polio can once again call upon their loved ones. These newlyweds are all grown up, turned 17, said their wedding vows, and are off 
to visit New York City. And some very forward thinkers have told me that within 10 years, dear audience, any of us can take a holiday trip <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> I must disclose I'm quite partial to this mode of transport. Ships and horses are like to sour my stomach. The future is in the skies, my friends. Look to the heavens. We are going to join him up there by and by. The end. All right, credits. No credits. Donito says, quick question. For all I have started streaming and my mic picks up my PC fans, what is a good program to cut that out? There's no good program to cut it out. I use Audacity, and you can use a noise-canceling uh, feature of Audacity to remove noise, but it's never perfect, and it always garbles your audio. Your best bet is to get a condenser mi microphone like this, and I have a link to it in the PC Part Picker list in the description of this video. Rockland says, kudos on the theater free roam hangout. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. And look at that. Hope it was a good one. See you soon. In the blink of an eye, and he's pooping again. Come on, Inky. They say I don't feed you enough, but you poop like a monster. Just like that, it's daytime. Let's get to the fence and sell our gold. My hat has changed color again. I guess this happens whenever I lose it and pick up a new hat. Hello. I am on the right side of the road, sir. Ah. That movie made the Wright brothers cry, says no name. I, I almost cried myself. Who we are, huh? Whoa, all right. Just passing on through. Go Good on morning. then. Are they part of the mob? Alright. Whoa, we scared them off. Yeah, yeah, super scared. Oh. Bought and sold. Morning, mister. Good morning. Good morning. No. Morning, sir. No. Okay, how do I get into this fence? It's an outdoor market. Good day, miss. Joseph. The skies are blue like the sea. I'm glad it ain't raining me. Buenos dias, señor. There we go. Well, now, what have we here? An assortment of refined goods. Now, where's my gold nugget? Here it is. Platinum band, yep. I'll sell that. Silver clamp buckle, sure. Gold wedding ring, emblem ring, 
Gold plated buckle. I'll keep my pen for now. What else can I sell? It doesn't take everything. I can sell my watches. Platinum pocket watch. And the rest are all collectibles. Well, I made quite a, a, a mint there. Let's see what we can craft. Nothing, because I don't have any of the components. Let's uh, see what he has for sale. Whoops. A fire bottle, a tomahawk. Baked beans, canned peas, bait, snake oil. Executioner's hood, psycho mask, and documents. Ah, recipes. Incendiary buckshot pamphlet. Oh, -ho. I can have an incendiary shotgun with this. Special horse reviver, special health cure. Explosive slug. That's all really cool. But I think I'll refrain for now. Serial killer clue next to you. Riding on the wall, says Pyro Man. Next to me, riding on the walls. That's a hinge. Did you see that? That's a hinge. Look at that. Oh. But I can't do anything. And having noticed it, I don't have any other options with what's his name. Huh. How do I get him to open that? It's part of a side quest, I see. Okay, so I have to wait until I get the side quest. Gotcha. All right. Now, where's this writing on the wall? Oops. Hmm. Saint Denis Market. Riding is outside on a, a white paint riddle. After you meet Bronte, a lot of side quests open up in St. Denis. Okay. Good morning, mister. You have to talk to the priest by the fence. Oh. Priest by the fence? Good morning. Lady 
I can't That's complain. Seven cross for a while, eh? Look where are you going? But I can I sell a pelt. Zosan. Okay, let's take a look at it. Gun oil? Where's the pelt? Oh, it's on my horse. Ah, doggone it. I need to go get my pelt. Go the other way past the trapper. You saw some? Hello. Okay. Okay, maybe see you again. Forgive me, ma'am. Hello, dear. Good morning to you, miss. Gideon! I'm not seeing this graffiti. Morning, sir. All right, I'm gonna go get my pelt to sell it. Oh, hello. Is there something else, sir? To you. How do I get my pelt off? Well, I can't seem to get my pelt off, and I couldn't sell it at the uh, the leather guy. Time to go, boy. Bonjour. Random dude says, "Please do a main quest. I want to see some action." Look, I just took out all of the Lemoyne raiders. That was a lot of action, but uh, I digress. I am close to a saloon, so we'll go ahead and do that. Is that a body or a drunk? My friend who played piano, he's still coming home with a new girl every night. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Morning. Okay. He's just chilling, just hanging out. Sense of humor is an acquired taste. Sorry, lady. It's a strange way to treat fellers. Oh, there was right, an accident, stranger. everybody. Accident. You okay? Hey there, partner. <laughs> they hope. Hi there. Hello, sir. Good weather we're having. Weather's always fine this time of year. Let's go, <laughs> boy. All right, I diffused the situation. Good weather we're having. How is everything? Hi there. Okay, uh, I need to go here. There's a saloon right here. It's this building. I guess I need to go into this alleyway. Hello, mister. And no place to hitch my horse. Hey there. How do you do? Look, keep your hands to yourself. Howdy. Okay, how do I get to this doggone bar?
Ales, wines, and cigars. There we go. I'm looking for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself. He's got quite the reputation. Okay. Across the street from the Quincy Harris statue. And this guy's drunk. Passed out. Like I said, can't help you. I didn't ask again. I better not remember this tomorrow. Can I go out the store? Nope. Well, fine. Our options narrow. Hi, mister. This is a busy alley. Move next time. Look out. Right. Well, which one's across the street from a statue? It's got to be this one. The other one's no longer marked on our map. Angelo Bronte. Oh, this theater's playing something now. Here it is. In we go. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So. Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in Nan. Okay. Gamora indeed. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Classic Western moment. All eyes tipped on me. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Lamar for you. America's dirty little French. A cowboy walks into a barn. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a <clears throat> transplant, Excuse but me. I'm never leaving. I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. Hello? <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Yes, I am. Thank you. Sure. Okay, what if you don't mind me? Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Dollar oh, for a whiskey? That's the real stuff. 
from Scotland. Well, that's scotch, not whiskey. Well, scotch whiskey. Here, have one for yourself. Well, wow, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Kids in the alley? Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Okay. Go out to the alley then. Can I get out from back here? Is that a doorway I see to the right? No. Well, it is a door, but that I don't think goes outside. No. Well, let's check in with Dutch. Where'd you go, Dutch? Guess okay. we're going to the alley. Well. Hello? Huh. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. <laughs> you're impossible. <laughs> because what woman doesn't love pedantry? Yes? Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Thank you. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. You better watch your satchel now, says, oh, hello, sir. Thank you. Kids can have light fingers. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him, what it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Hustle by bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's Hustle go, Hustle by a bread, he says. Clean. Stay close. Easy to get lost around you. Come on, then. You know I'm right city, behind you. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You better stop right now. Oh, boy. I can't whistle from a horse. Don't you have kids to feed? You give that back. Long time, boy. You're making a fool of yourself. Get back. 
back here. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. You after that kid? That other shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Bounce your ass. That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Remember when they Thank had you. to bring the mules back out after the snow Come on! Through? Keep up! Couldn't get the ice off the trolley lines. Hey! Moron! No fun being you right now. Bye, mister! <laughs> Just give it up, farm boy. Stop, you shit. I'm being chased by the village idiot. I'll kill you, you thieving bastard. Oh, no, no, no. I'll spend it on something nice, mister, I promise. Oh, Last my hat. <laughs> Just give it up, kid. My Little careful. Fool. What the hell are you doing? Hardly touched. Pardon me. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Since for when? Since forever. Oh, for Pete's sake. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. That's it? Did I get robbed or not? Where's my horse? Gosh dang it, my horse is on the opposite side of town now, isn't he? Come on, horse. Can you hear me? Yeah, he can hear me. There he is, good old Inky. Howdy, partner. Come on now, boy. Shit. Can anybody show me some kindness? All right, who's begging? Morning, this guy? Please. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Cool. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. 
I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Okay, <sighs> <sighs> Good morning to you. Okay, well, now we know where he's at. Now we gotta get back to Dutch. What on earth? Good morning, mister. Let's go. Man, those kids were nasty. Not a situation Arthur can just shoot his way out of like normal. You want to be killing a bunch of kids. All right, Dutch, where are you? There he is. Over here. Oh, there. Hey. Get going, will you? Oh, I saw him over here, but it sounded like he was coming from behind me. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. <laughs> Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Cutscene. Here we go. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Bronze. <laughs> When How did I fail this time? Catch the street urchin before he reaches the market. Complete within five minutes and 30 seconds. So the chase. It was all about the chase. Now. A whole lot has opened up to me. I can continue with the main quest by going to Dutch. We've got a stranger who wants to talk to me by the bar. And another stranger up north. Well, the quest and main quest will always be there. Let's talk to some of these strangers. Also looks like Leopold and Mary Beth want to talk to me. Pyroman says killer clue on the left from you. Awesome. To you. Killer clue on the left from you. Cigarette card. All right. But no killer clue. Hey, what's the matter with you? 
Clues behind left gate outside of market. Thank you, J Dog Homie Blitz. Left gate outside of market. Right where my horse was. Well, excuse you. Ah, mysterious riding. I feed again. The blood of life, the circle has begun. Buenos dias. That's what they're morning. Oh, is that my hat lost earlier? It is. And it's the right color, too. No, it's the one with the bullet hole. <laughs> I'll take the one with the bullet hole. For the love of God, do you Shut feel up. like dying today? Keep it moving. Not so okay, so a stranger up here. Good morning. Must be inside the bar. Good morning to you. Where can I hitch my horse? This is a piece of nice weather, ain't it? Well, oh. Hello. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. <laughs> Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. <clears throat> I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I... I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth. Which is what? I am a pies, um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, 
You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried <laughs> okay. both. One is better, much better. Hmm. Wow. Oh, so, very, I, very uh, French. must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little ah. noodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Am I going to get demonetized for that? I don't think so. I mean, was this a scribble? If no one asks me, I'm your drink. I will go. Charles Sketch, I can inspect the document. Inspect document. Are. French boobs. Okay. Flipping it to the back. Nothing on the back. Move yourself. Oh, sorry. B Gem says Mary Beth Quest is pretty good. Recommend. All right. Well, I I guess Mike. I just met that guy. Oh, there's another question mark behind me. Directly behind me. Hello, father. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're ah. a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, oh. well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Hello. The Round the corner, green door. But we can't ignore the rumors. Back off. Oh, the pawnbroker with the bookshelf. Thank you. Look out. Hey, why is this oh, happening? I don't think he's missing a part Why'd of you look where you're going? Excuse me. <laughs> Who is so upset? Just walking here like the rest of you. Well, seems like we need to pay a visit to our friendly pawnbroker. Yet again. Green door. Yeah, you have to get right up close to it to tell that it's green. Search for Hi clues. There, uh, feel free to browse. Well, Shall I think do. I already know. I found those clues earlier. Uh, looking for anything in particular? Oh, uh, nothing much back there, I I'm afraid. Uh, just a, a few old books. Uh, you timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Uh, He's all talk now. He wasn't very talkative last time. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? What's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, How about you open that door? Door? 
What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door, now! Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. So, a racist book. Am I gonna get trapped back in here? Well, well, well. Oh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Quién es? Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Wow. Help, please. Holy cow. Oh, por favor. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. You meet the author of that book in Red Dead Redemption 1, actually. Really? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Now, return to the monk. Oh, this is filthy. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now, I promise. If he closes this bookshelf on me. Why didn't he? He could have just closed the bookshelf on me. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Ox, you can give slaves money in the register. Give cash to the captives. It's the least we can do. Here, there you go. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. Take the money, friend. We're freeing the slaves. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. They following me? Oh. It's the sunlight. Well, did I also just lose my fence? <laughs> right over here. Welcome back, sir. Thank you for your help. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor! Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Gasper Street, St. Francis. Help a brother out, but I got a bronze medal. How did I get a bronze medal? Was it timing again? Find the captives without threatening the store owner. What? How could I? What? I found the hinges and there was the only one way in there. How could I have done that without threatening the store owner? Complete within two minutes and 45 seconds. 
penalizing me again for exploring the scene. Fine, guys. All right. Well, we freed the captives. We donated to the poor. Arthur's collecting all sorts of karma. We have under an hour left. Don't think we're going to get back to the main mission today. Maybe we will. Let's go check out this other stranger, see what he has for us in St. Denis. Whoa. Almost a gymnastic move. Did you see that? She did a big turn around, and I'm already on the op opposite side of the road. These NPCs, man. <laughs> Crack me like up every time. These days. Well, well. Toast. Ah, excuse me, bud. How do you do, sir? What have we over here? Yes. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> what is it for? He's like, you touch oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Hey. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, <laughs> friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for okay. no cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Ah, oh, talk to Alden at Rhodes Station. Oh, dear. Oh, it sends us way out of town. All the way back towards Rhodes? Ah, oh, we got less than an hour. We got 40 minutes. If I talk to Dutch again, we're going to move with an assault on the mansion to get the boy back. Or we're going to go confront him. That's going to be a lengthy bit of narrative. I don't want to get into that just yet. We could go back to camp, talk to Leopold Strauss, see what he's got for us. Or Mary Beth, but that's another main quest quest. Let's, let's continue with what we're doing here in Rhodes. And we can take the stagecoach from St. Denis. Yep, let's do that. Where's my horse? Yeah! You're in for a sight, my friend. Just as soon as I get my hands on that weapon all. What a helpful fellow. What a helpful fellow. Strauss and Mary Beth are short, says B-Gem. Oh, that's good. Well, maybe I can get them all done in time. Let's go get that moonshine, though. I think I can do that pretty quick if I take a stagecoach. You holding up, okay? Partner. Howdy, friend. You drunk or something? No. Shut up. Yeah. Hey there, Mr. Help. These people heckling Howdy. me just trying to drive. Well, all right then. Dale. What am I gonna have to do, do to get a hundred gallons of moonshine? Probably gonna have to rob a distillery, huh? Uh, 
Okay, who do I talk to? That's a newspaper seller. There you go. Take a ride. Two roads. Only three bucks, not bad. Well, two and a half bucks. Come on, horse, follow. Bully Hunter says, new stranger mission just popped up. I believe it's Chatney again. All right, I'll have to take a look when I'm back in St. Denis. Sorry if I cut short a fun dream. We've arrived. Thanks for the ride, partner. Confound it. Why is everything so... Looks like there's a bounty here. And a big question mark that, that way. What's... What's this? Boy. Well, I don't want to lose it, so I guess I better get it. What's going on over here? Hey! I can't go faster. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault! His fault to Darky White! Oh, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean right. off you. Come right. on. And I'll right. tall you, on. you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellows. Don't you start up again. Just okay, shut take up. down the shut wanted up. posters around roads to stop bounty hunters searching for Mr. Black and Mr. White. I wonder if it's timed. Whoops. Where's my horse? Hey, boy. I bet you it's timed. And if that's the case, where are the bounty posters around town? That's the professor. Or that's the quest for the professor. Well, I bet you there's a bounty poster What's here in the, you, huh? inside here. Back to work. There we go. How do you do, sir? Let's see. Read. Escaped prisoners. Mr. Black and Mr. White capture alive. Escaped from a chain gang. Still at large. Both considered dangerous. Last seen in the vicinity of Rhodes. For rewards, collections, contact H. Thomas Rhodes Sheriff Office. Hmm. So we can learn more by going to the sheriff's office. One of five. I'm really curious to see what they did. You know, them's bad men. Sure. Real unpleasant. 
information. Old Wendell White asshole. killed a farmer over some wages. White man he was and all. And Samson mm. Black, he so, shot half um, the county. What do you think, Arthur? They was both going to swing before they escaped. Fella catches him or earn himself a pile of money. That's so. Sure. Big pile Best of money. I give it to you now while there's no line. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Inspect the note. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of St. Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. So we're going to have to rob a stagecoach. Or rob a, a delivery. Okay. Uh, well, while we are here, let's see if we can find more of Hello. these posters and talk to the sheriff about why these guys are wanted. So there are five total. Well, where are we going to find the rest? In the bar? We we'll probably go to the shops. Blair. How you doing? Fine and dandy. There's the bank. Maybe there's some in the bank. You got a problem with me, huh? Mister? Nope, not one to talk. And no posters. Okay. Let's go to the store. Probably none in the Undertakers. Except the floorboards. Not seeing any wanted posters here. I need some help. How's your friend getting on? There's one across the way. Not some Thanks for your assistance. <laughs> hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. How do you do? Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Bounty hunter. Get out of here. Now. There we go. <clears throat> Put that away. See if there are any inside the weapon shop. How do you do? Open the door all gentle like. Ain't gonna get away with swiping in here anymore. Nope, none on the walls. Didn't expect to see you back here again. Here I am begging. Oh, I hey, if we the one, I have folks I can whip right now. Take care of my every need. Come on, pal. Good evening. Show me something I haven't seen before. Ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jeff Joe Mingle thought. There's gossip, one. Gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies. Hey, Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. Hey, you, you don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Ain't 
Anyway. Interesting. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still Evening. With us. Evening. Have Looks fun. like I need to brush my horse. That's good, boy. Hey. See if the sheriff has anything to say. So what do we believe? Were they really set up? Okay there. Evening, sir. And he's got nothing to say. No bounty poster either. A very good evening to you. Sir. Who's shouting about his leg? Time to go, boy. And they shot off my leg when it got gang green. But I can't work. I need money. Someone is shouting this way, and I can't tell where. I'm into visitors, but no funny business, you hear? Well, the sheriff claims no one can't shoot him. They've been robbing the town. You give a damn about slavery. That's a mailman. Comes to a head. Scores dead and rose. This guy? Oh, now I only got one lane. Evening, friend. You know, it's the damnedest thing. I swear that boy just flirting with my missus any chance he gets. Hey, hey it's good to see there. you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. Morning, I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. That's it. Okay, nothing about the case we're on. Let's go, boy. <clears throat> Fine. Uh, we've got two more wanted posters to find. And so far, the ones we've found have been outside except for in... The um, the post office. So, where are we gonna find the rest? There's one. Mr. Black and Mr. White. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Good evening, sir. Hello there. Gonna wait till he gets outside of town. Look out! Excuse me. This <laughs> on the line. Get this off of me. All right. Hey. Good God. So, what you Take got? Whoops. Don't! What ain't you getting? No, wait, don't! All right. 
I hope we understand each other. Now that you've gotten the message, whoops, hand over what you got. All right, this is all I have on me. Are you kidding me? Go, you idiot. This isn't happening. Okay, I defused it at least. I lost a little bit of uh, karma by accidentally robbing him. What? But uh, <laughs> he didn't see me. Okay, so I've got four of the five wanted posters. Yeah. Got to find the fifth. Okay, where would the fifth be? Up here, maybe? Is it? It's not on my map, is it? Nope. and our wits keep us free. You said it. At the mill, maybe? Stop. That's an order. <sighs> yeah, I'm a little slow. See, could you say that again? You piece of shit! I'm rid of you with bullets. The Lemoyne Raiders trying to attack me in town. What the heck? You want to fight? Let's fight outside of town. Thank you. It's okay. So. Right behind you says B Gem. It was 20 feet behind the guy on the horse before you chased him. It was right before the fourth one when you started following him. All right, thank you everybody. Yeah. Well, this is where I found the last one, right? Maybe the saloon? Nope, not seeing any wanted posters on the walls here. Hey. Are you well? No, I'm gonna Whole lot of people though. Hello. You ain't scaring nobody. Thanks. Light pole. Well, doggone it, I hate these Easter egg hunts. Outside ox on a pole. Isn't that the one that I just chased down the bounty hunter to get? There's the light pole. There's nothing on it. Yeah, I got that one. That's the one I chased down the bounty hunter to get. Oh, this one. Stop it! Stop it! Just calm down, please! Who 
Who's shouting? Self to ruin. At least try fighting back. You may Okay. Silver pocket watch. Right. Well, I got the final poster. Now we need to know... Wait, there's another poster icon on my map over here. Is this for a different bounty or the one that I'm going... I think it's a different bounty. All right, let's get my, ho my um, horse and meet those guys in the, in the woods. So we've got conflicting reports, all sorts of rumors. Some say they're murderers. Others say they were set up. Which is true. Why, hello there, sir. Sorry. Ooh. in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Burn the posters. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. Okay. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while. Mr. Black and Mr. White wanted posters have been taken down, but what happens next is still to be decided. First, so the quest can continue after You're that. Right. Too risky Great. to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a sidetrack. I've got ten minutes left. And there's a bounty in Rhodes, but I suppose I can always do the bounty. Oh, we need to go find... We need to go find this moonshine. Which is... Up here. For the professor. Well, what's going to be the fastest way to get there? Uh, we could... Gosh, that is way out there. St. Denis is closer, but not by much. Especially when I have to go through the entire city just to get there. Might as well run. Guess we'll run there. Ox, what followed, vids? Are you doing next? Uh, they're going to be on Far Harbor. I've got a few more Far Harbor vids left to go in this series. Pyroman says C-shaped swamp between roads and the bayou, right next to the train tracks. It changes with Morning, every partner. chapter of the game. You can do that in 10 minutes for sure. This one? What's what's that? What's there? 
What am I looking for at that C-shaped swamp? You can camp and fast travel to La Grasse. All right. Well, it looks like I'm not far enough out in the wilderness yet. Plus, taking the scenic route might to get us some random encounters. Mystery Shack, says Pyro Man. Full of weird Easter eggs. Okay. I'll try it. Seeing as how we don't have much time left anyway, I doubt I'll make it there in time. But we, uh... This the no count took the bear! You're a marked man in the state of... Well, open up on him. We survived! Yay! <laughs> Dog on Lemoyne Raiders! Golly! That hill really saved me. It made them have to come over the crest of the hill to kill me, which allowed me to pick them off one by one. off my horse just Chris with a tip thank you just Chris yeah Deuteronomy says lol ox had the low ground it saved my bacon that time The C-shaped swamp, uh, swamp shack, only makes sense if you played Red Dead One. Well, uh, it's not going to make sense to me though, but maybe it'll make sense to you guys. So we'll go check it out. There's the swamp, and there's the shack. And that's a gator. Easy.
Ooh, tricky. Yep. Lots of gators. What are you getting me into, guys? I think I'll do a hard save here. <laughs> He's running off. Guess I don't blame him. But uh, those gators are staying cool for now. Okay, well, what have we here? A picture of a crow, some burning candles, ointments, and lots of paintings here. Skulls, an assortment of skulls, some sort of powder and a red bag. More paintings. Ooh, his final toll will sound my greatest coming. Hmm. So we found the, the shack of a painter. The water is black with venom. Potent snake oil. And I can't take it because I'm full, so I guess I might as well use one. Picture frames, newspaper clippings, and a mirror. What's this? <clears throat> I offer you happiness or two gener uh, for two generations, or two generations. You make your choice. Huh. And what's that supposed to be a map of? A small town passing over a waterway. A plan of Armadillo. The town of Armadillo. Top hat on the wall. There was a man called Jimmy Brooks who was always running into crooks till one chased him down and he had to talk his way round. That Jimmy isn't as dumb as he looks. Well, I'm sure that this has a lot of meaning for people who have played Red Dead 1. But sadly, I haven't, so I don't get it. Rockland with a tip. Thank you, Rockland. And now I need to find my horse. <laughs> Where'd he go? Off this way. On the other side of the water. Great. I get to cross gators without a horse. Yields a skin, teeth, and big game meat. Used in crafting and cooking. Use a bow with improved arrows or a long scope rifle for a clean kill. And now my horse is over here. Oh, 
Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> there are gators in the water everywhere. Oh, there's even gators under the shack. Oh, man. Okay, around we went. I gotta find my horse. There he is. You little coward. Come on, pal. Okay, that's it. Ladies and yeah. gents, I'm gonna have to do a hard save here. And uh, we'll pick up with all of the side quests and main quests that we have collected so far on today's stream in my next stream of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is going to be Friday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. Thank you all for joining me. I've got two lore videos scheduled for the weekend, both on Fallout 4 Far Harbor. We're continuing with the main story of the game. We now have to track down the nuclear launch key and the wind farm kill switch code. Two activities, two videos chocked full of lore and adventure. Stay tuned for them. But for now, have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and I'll see you this weekend with more lore videos. Have a good one.